Hello, my lovely Taurus. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Taurus, as the title and the cover of this video suggests, it is all about 2023. The big energies revealed for the collective watching this. Let's get straight into it. I will remove the selenite and I will clear the deck. Now, Taurus, primarily this will be about your personal romantic love life, but also bear in mind, I will also be mentioning different areas of your life, such as career, finances, study, travel, family, whatever comes up for the collective, I will be covering, well, I'll be exploring all of this for you. Um, I'll be starting off with the Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll be clarifying, of course, then we're getting into all the other big energies. So, Taurus, here we go. I'm hearing that a lot of you are really happy that this year is wrapping up because, you know, obviously January the 1st, 2023 represents a clean slate where it's like now I can I can really do whatever I want now. I can do it on my terms. I'm really leaving the past behind here. Um, some of you are also going into business, starting your own business. If you are already in your own business, uh, that's going to take off. And I'm just getting random messages. I'm getting some June, something happening in June. Um, so sometimes when I do this particular reading, I may get some random names, locations. Um, if it doesn't make sense to you, or if you don't know who these people are, bear in mind they may come into your life sometime this year. So I'm getting Brand. Uh, is it Brenda or Brandon? Brandon? Starts with a B. Let's see. Two more they're seeing. And the last one. Perfect. For Taurus, please. Yeah, they keep showing me a bridge. <sighs> almost, it reminds me of almost like the San Francisco bridge. It's really weird. Um, I mean, maybe crossing a bridge. In other words, for me, a bridge metaphorically, it, it, for me, it represents that you're going to the other side. Everything that you want is on the other side of the bridge. So let's see. It's the year advancement. So they're saying three more. I know there's a lot of shuffling, but I only stop when my spirit team tell me to stop. And the last one, please, for Taurus, 2023, the big energies, please. Here we go. Let's do this. Yeah, keep showing me that bridge. All right, bottom of the deck. Yes, I knew it. Everything you want is on the other side. We've got the nine of Raphael. Now, this is the nine of cups. Pisces energy, look what it says. Make a wish. Dreams become a reality, a joyful time of life. For some of you, this can also indicate a pregnancy uh, this year because the nine of cups represents months. So nine months, nine, you know, nine months gestation and all that. So that could be pregnancy here. But this is more of the personal wishes. It's sometimes it's so personal to you, Taurus, that we don't even write it down on a journal. We don't even voice it to anyone. We probably have a mood board or a vision board, but it's something that's very near and dear to you. I definitely want to let you know that within nine months, it could happen in two months, three, five, six months, your wishes are about to be granted here this is beautiful what else do we have the hanged man perspective there's a better way pause for reflection and insight dare to be different here and with that queen of wands i think you're going to be changing jobs here as well i think you're going to pause here this is a bit of a reflection like literally seeing things from a different angle here and change can sometimes be scary but that's the thing with change you know if all we have to do is take that step forward and that's why they keep showing me the bridge it's almost like I think it's the San Francisco Bridge. The, is that what they call the Golden Gate Bridge? Correct, please, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but um, it's like all you have to do is take that next step and everything you want is on the other side. Love, especially love, that's gonna be a big one here for you. Yes, you may be uncertain here. You're trying to see things from different angles, even trying to control things, but all you have to do is take action because we have the Queen of Wands. Look what it says, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people here. So we do have big career changes. For me, the queen and the king of wands will only take action. Taurus, after what is it that drives you? What gets you out of bed? What motivates you? What you're passionate about? What you love? What you believe in here as well? You're definitely going to be receiving with the page of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, some really good news that pulls on your heartstrings here. Definitely could be related about children as well. 
um, if you already have children, for example. Um, we also have an apology coming your way. We have communication that is fueled by love. It is also backed from um, by emotions. Look what it says there at the bottom. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights here as well. So if it feels like that your love life, for example, has been flatlined, that's not going to happen anymore because, you know, with the hanged man, things come to a halt. And now... I think it's, I don't know what you're doing, but um, you're prompting someone to reach out to you. We also have the Eight of Cups. That is Pisces energy. What are you walking away from? There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. That's why they keep showing me the bridge here. Yep, you're going to be stepping into the unknown. I love the Two of Gabriel. It's the Two of Wands. That is Aries energy. Look at that. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So some of you may be going already um, into a partnership or already are in a business partnership here as well. Um, this does indicate new home, um, obviously new holidays, new travel, new love, new partnerships. It's new of everything here. So this is really, really good here, but it's everything that is really near and dear to your heart. You're going to be receiving excellent news here, especially about projects, anything about pitching with your career and also about relationships. First card, please. Excellent. We have the strength card, Leo Energy. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. Strength is also about courage. It's about bravery. It's about unconditional love here. This also speaks about the return of your physical health. So if you feel that your health has not been good lately, it's been like, oh, and it just keeps going down. This is the return of health. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but this is also the courage and conviction, the strength to keep moving forward, leaving the past behind, not repeating the same cycles. I'm here definitely to say to you with that nine of cups and the page of cups, someone is going to be building up their courage, their strength, their self-confidence, their self-esteem to face you, to confess their feelings for you. Wow, look at that. you got the eight of Gabriel. So eight of Gabriel is the eight of wands, Sagittarius energy. Look at that. It says a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. Now, this is often known as Cupid's arrow, love messages. It may even come from abroad. I'm seeing some of you are thinking of traveling and it doesn't even have to be far. Most likely it is always overseas here, but it's a sudden flurry of activity of movement. I am seeing that this person, once they muster up their courage, and I don't know where they're getting it from, it's definitely something within them in their heart. Um, there's a lot of messages coming your way, a sudden flurry of activity. Someone's missing you. The Four of Cups, look at that. It says, seek out other possibilities. Uh, I can't even talk today. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions here. Now, this can often show, this is cancer energy, by the way, when we are quite melancholic. You know, we think about the past and for some reason it hurts. You feel it in your chest. You feel it in the pit of your stomach that I missed out on something. So there was something here in 2022, I was going to say 23, 2022, where you think that, you know, what, it didn't work out. I didn't, I worked so hard for it. It just didn't work out. But you're getting messages about this. That's why I'm saying, you know, lift your head up. This is very strongly associated also with, you know, that emotional depression where the ship has sailed, you know, whatever story we tell ourselves, I'm getting older, this, this and that. Um, no, we jump from the four, we get to the nine and they keep showing me that bridge. Wow. More, please. The King of Swords, the King of Michael. Very strong Aquarius energy. This could also be um, possibly a Gemini or a Libra. Wisdom and objectivity are important. Now, stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Wow. So even though I really see that... <clears throat> excuse me, you're quite ambitious with your career and your finances, I do see that the, the topic of love, of emotions, is really commanding your attention now. Um, this is definitely someone that you know. You have history with this person. You know who they are. And I don't know why they need to build up their strength. They're probably feeling quite guilty about something here. They're missing you. They're feeling also very melancholic. I think you're, you're also probably feeling that way as well. What else do we have? New beginnings. Look at that, starting a new life for, oh, I was gonna say falling, finding your purpose, um, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Now, this is literally, I have to say, it's like um, judgment. This person's coming back to seek a second chance with you. And it's also saying that you literally cannot make the wrong decision here. I absolutely love this because it's the card of resurrection, right? Um, it's also the card of spiritual awakenings, 
where we can see things in its raw state here. So some of the messages will be, you know, can I have a second chance? Can we talk? And I think they're going to get straight to the point here. That's the only thing I'm seeing. It's like, let's get straight to the point. I miss you. I want to talk to you. I'm taking up all my strength here. Please don't shoot me down. We've got the Ace of Gabriel. This is the Ace of Wands. They want a passionate new start. But for some of you, this could also be showing a really passionate new start in your career. A gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. It's time to get excited again, Taurus, about your life. Absolutely. I think you're going to snap out of this. You're going to bounce back from it because you've got the ace and all aces indicate a brand new beginning, especially with someone that perhaps you are missing that you're pining. I just lost my voice there. Sorry about that. Someone that you're pining for. And usually when something happens to my voice, that could be a blocked um, chakra, I think, because both of you have this necessity that you do want to talk to each other. Yeah, we have the three of Gabriel. This is the three of wands. So this is a really good card to get um, Aries energy here. Regardless if your person is at a distance or not, a really good card also for business. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So yes, your person, honestly, they're waiting for the right time to approach you. They want it to be successful here as well. Um, and to be honest, I, I, I honestly think that it will. I think they're waiting for you. You're, you may be waiting for them, but you probably have been kind of like thrown in the towel, resounded in the fact that this is it. You know, there's no new beginning and I'm going to be like this. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. No, metaphorically, they're just waiting for the right time, you know, for the ship to come in. <laughs> you know, okay, this is nice. Yeah, look at this. We also have the three of cups, cancer energy. Look at what it says, reasons to celebrate. A community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children, could be pregnancies, birth, um, birthdays, engagements, weddings here. So they're coming back for reconciliation. They may even want to say, let's start off as friends. Now, I always see this with the Three of Cups, the popping of the champagne. I see the, you know, the, the cork flying into the air all the fizz of the champagne for some of you that do want to start your own business. I, I'm also seeing that you're being offered your dream job as well. Um, I'm seeing like it's like a big corporation here, like it's a big company here. That's a big celebration here. You may have to move um, you know, closer or there's some travel here involved as well. There's a lot of communication regarding that, but it's something that's passionate. You know, it's something that drives you, it motivates you here as well. So as in Korea and um, romance, that is looking really, really, really good here. Wow. And we have solutions. How beautiful is this? The ultimate card of healing. This is like um, temperance ruled by Sagittarius. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Are you willing? Are you ready to forgive this person? Wow. I wanted one more. Um, we've got, look at that leap of faith. That is the, um, the full card, Aries energy. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. I think you're going to go for it. This time it's going to be different. I think you're going to meet cross over that bridge metaphorically or meet that person in the middle because everything you want is on the other side of the bridge here. I'm seeing like a huge offer here with your career and it's just going to make you so happy. It's what you want. It's what you've always wanted. Either it's you're working for someone else, but it's like a really good position or you're being your own boss and you're celebrating and I'm seeing you celebrating coming back with this person again. Look, at, that's creepy. Ace of Wands at the bottom and Ace of Wands here. Okay. All right. <laughs> I love when we start seeing the same energies. We start seeing um, the same cards like strength, strength. Yeah. You may be mirroring each other to a certain degree here. I definitely see that you're missing each other though. It's like they're waiting for you to make a move, but I think you're kind of being a bit of a busy bee here at the moment with um, other areas of your life. They're saying two more. There's something that your person regrets that they said to you. That kind of that could have actually ended that connection in the past. They said something to you out of haste. They didn't really think about it. And now they're saying, damn, I regret it. I should have never said that. But they did. So if they want to fix it, they're going to have to act pretty fast, which they will. All right. I'm just seeing a lot of victory here for you. This is really good. Well, all right. Now this is getting interesting. Eight of Wands came out. You're getting it twice, see? Everything's pointing to you, Taurus. Everything. But these are good things that are pointing towards you. All right, they're saying three more. Oh, let's do this properly. Three more. Two more. Last one, please. It's 
take that out. All right, here we go. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, please. <laughs> you got my favorite card. This is my number one favorite card is the sun, Leo energy, pure happiness, joy, bliss, blessings, the return of physical health. It's also the card of illumination. So here they come to shed light back onto this situation. I think you're going to be really happy to hear from this person. I can almost feel your heart beating really fast when you see the first call or the first message. The page of wands. <clears throat> excuse me, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, some of you are going to be offered um, a job here. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's like, you think it's probably too good to be true, but it's like, no, it's not. You're prepared for this. You're meant for this. Yeah. And if you're worried here with that 10 of wands, Sagittarius, are you good enough? Yes, you are. What I love is that the sun always trumps over minor arcadas and court cards. So you're going to get over it pretty quickly here. But look at that. We've got the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Listen to your intuition here as well. Emotions are going to be running very high. It's like it's going to happen all together with this new job, career, level up, whatever it is for you in terms of your career and this person coming back. It's going to happen all together, though. Look at that. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Apologies, Reconciliations, the Queen of Cups here. Will you accept it? I think you will with the Wheel of Fortune because we have Taurus there. Let's get to the main energies. The Seven of Wands, Leo energy. There are some things in life, Taurus. Some things in life. And you know what they are already because you always know what you want. And I love that. There are some things in life, in life worth fighting for. They are worth defending. And that's what your person's going to be doing. And I see this is going to come out of the blue, which I see both of you are going to kind of really snap out of this Four of Cups energy. Yep. They're going to be pretty much, uh, how could I say this, to the point. It's like, Taurus, I'm calling you because I want you back. It's a brand new year. Let's try one more time. And I feel like they know that you're a little bit defensive, that you're a little bit closed off, but they're not going anywhere because there is a solution. This is about taking your time. They're going to have to be patient with you, but that's fine. Now, the aid of Gabriel is messages. What? Let's kind of zone in. What is this message about? What else? I mean, clearly they want a new beginning. What else? Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. Soulmate connection where the love, respect and the trust is eventually going to be mutual. I'm seeing that you're very hurt here. You are missing them quite a lot. It's all love messages. This person loves you. And it's, you know, the lovers is about choices with that very strong Gemini energy. And they're going to make the choice to stay and not going anywhere. Not in a creepy way. That they want to fight for this. The Four of Cups is the Fool. Now, remember, I picked out another card here. You have the Fool. Your person has the Fool. They're going to go for it. This is about reclaiming the innocence of the connection. Um, and it's all about brand new beginnings. And they know it's going to come with an enormous amount of risk. Because they are kind of seeing here they may be judged quite harshly by you or your friends and your family that really want to protect you here as well. They're still going to go for it. Now, for those that want to change jobs here, completely even different industries or, you know, whether it's in the same industry, different company here, or if you want to have your own business, that is going to pay off. And I'm really proud of you because it, a lot of people stay in the job where they're comfortable because it's safe. It's familiar, but not you. You're going to do something completely different. It will pay off. I mean, you got the sun. The sun really trumps all the other cards. It's the happiest card in the deck. Let's talk about the King of Swords. Is the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So this is what they're fighting for. They want it all with you. Security, stability, commitment, engagement, marriage. It's the family card. Yep. Carrying on family traditions where you bring your own, they bring their own. It's having it all. Finances looking amazing here as well. Wow. All right, let's talk about new beginnings. This is the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This could also be a fellow Taurus, which will impact you directly in Capricorn. This is my favorite night. It is absolutely my favorite night. It is the slowest night, but it is the most reliable night. You've got two cards here saying to take this 2.0 version of the relationship in 2023, take it slow. I absolutely love that they're coming back with very good intentions here as well because they're going to fight for this. They're going to offer you something very solid, practical. They're appearing a lot more grounded now, very sure of themselves. And it's like, I want this new beginning. They're passionate about you. That They really don't want you to go anywhere. They don't want to go anywhere. And, you know, I don't see you being single for much longer. I'm also seeing a really good offer here at work. I'm going to say take it because it, it's just promising. I mean... Jeez, the Three of Cups is all about celebration. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Two of Wands. 
Now we've got progressive energy, the ace, the two, the three. Aries energy. So this is your person stepping into the unknown. They're taking that first step here. Look at that. It's all about stepping first. Um, I feel like they really want to show it to you. They want to prove to you that they mean business here, that they, they want to come with something promising, that you're seeing them as someone also successful, and they have a lot to offer you here as well. Mm, yeah, and there we go. That's um, new partnerships, new job, new house, new career, everything that's new, it's yours. So career, don't worry about finances, that's, that's excellent. Um, but I, I see it's more your passion projects, things that really drive you as in your career. It's not enough to have a job, you want something that you're passionate about. It's gonna happen all together here. The three of wands is clarified by the four of wands. Look at this progressive energy, it's about moving forward. How beautiful is this? The ace, the two, the three, and the four of wands. We've got reconciliation, we've got commitment, we've got marriage here. Some of you may be actually indeed changing your job. You may have to move to be closer to your home. Um, and that also means a new address. So you could be leasing or purchasing a new home as well. And it actually could be um, this year with this person. The three of cups is clarified by the chariot cancer energy, the fastest moving energy in the entire deck. This is success here, your person comes. This is about sheer determination to win. It's victory here as well. They want you back. And I think you want the same thing here, Taurus. Absolutely, and it's gonna happen. This is also victory in terms of your career. People start noticing, you make noise, people start turning their heads here. And also the less than desirable people. They can come with a little bit of jealousy here. It could actually be from a friend or a family friend, but um, I don't think it's going to, I'm not seeing any cards that it's actually going to affect you at all. So do not worry about that. And with solutions, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. So are you opening or closing the laptop here? That is the wise sage. What I absolutely love about this is that you and your person have learned massive lessons to never be repeated again here. Yeah, like going out to loud par you know, parties, bars, getting drunk, that doesn't tickle your fancy anymore at all. This is all about peace, balance, harmony, taking it one day at a time. This is going within. It's introspection now. What do I want? What makes me happy? You're putting yourself first. I think you're going to give this person another chance. More importantly, you're really going to, as they say now, you're really going to boss up in your career and people are going to admire you. How did you do it, Taurus? I had no idea that you were doing this, but you did it. And now you're going to show everyone just how successful you are. Let's do the big energies. I'll start first with the big romance energies for you. This is looking really promising. All right, let's get into it. All right, we'll use the, the romance angel cards. Let's see. I kind of feel like it's going to be like a very fast year, but it, it, yeah, see, look at this. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Um, yeah, so I feel like it's going to be a fast year, but at the same time, I feel like they're going to be just really good events, one after another. Health is looking amazing. If there are children involved here, we've got happy, healthy children. Three more. Two more. Ooh, thank you. Last one. Got a highlighted message there, here we go what do we have yep stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so this is almost like it's saying with this in regards to this particular person we must not hope we must believe it is going to work out um, I'm already seeing their intentions here is pretty pure well, we're also going to free ourselves it's time to take back control of your life but this is for all areas here if anything you've probably tried to disconnect from this person but um, I feel like it's been a bit difficult. Like I said, you've tried to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. For those that were in a third party situation, because I did see the moon before, um, they're releasing that. So that's good. We also have engagement. This literally could be an, um, an actual you know, engagement. Um, but I'm actually kind of more seeing here that this is like committing to each other from like a, a much more stronger point of view here. I think your person's worried that you don't love them. We have unrequited love, that there's not enough love in chemistry here because you're putting yourself first. Um, if there was a third party, I'm definitely telling you there is no love there. No, because I feel like it's, it's taken a while for your person to come back around. All right, let's get to the main ones. We've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Although your person is worried though with unrequited love that there is no more chemistry, but it's not going to stop them though. Look at these powerful like major arcanas. You gotta pay attention to the red flags. 
Yeah, it's something in the message here that they're going to give you. And I think it could in regards be, because I don't know why, I haven't seen any cards showing me third party. Um, now, any third party, yes, it could be infidelity. Yes, it could be a meddling mother, a friend, whoever it is. I just want to make sure that they're not in the picture still. So that's just a heads up for you. Make sure that they're not in the picture. Um, we've got let go of con uh, control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is going to happen very soon. Beautiful. You deserve love. You are lovable. Of course you are. Getting to know each other all over again. This is when you learn to put your walls down again, feel vulnerable. And I know that's asking a lot. Um, that's when we learn to trust one more time. Yep, we're going to have a heart to heart conversation here. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And I think you'll realize that chemistry has always been there. We have new love. Now, I know it says a new person, but I don't think this is. This is like my ace of cups. This is like literally falling in love again. All I, and, you know, for, for me, new love is like an eight, like, um, <clears throat> excuse me like the Ace of Cups. We also have religious factors. Now, if there's any differences between you, like differences of opinion, how you view life, cultural differences, age difference, or you know, religious differences, that can be worked out. Those, I always say, those are the little quirks that just make this relationship a lot more unique, in other words. Let's see. Let's get some big overall energies here. We have man holding a heart. You've got the thinky man. There's a very strong, um, divine masculine energy here. This could be you, um, or this definitely could be um, the person you are dealing with. Yeah, we've got the world. Even if they're a dis at a certain distance or not, they do want a brand new cycle with you. Therefore, they will be taking action. All right, two more. And yeah, Spirit just said, be prepared with the Ace of Wands to sign... How do they say it? Sign a, you're going to be signing a document that's going to change your life in a good way. So it's like a contract, a legal document, an offering of something. Yeah, we've got the angel of love here. Yep. Mm, yeah, well, they're definitely coming back. I'm seeing that. Two more. Last one. All right. Here we go. Let's do this bottom of the deck adjacent possibilities i'm seeing this quite a lot now for um other star signs so you know it's almost like oh you know I, if i, I want to you know apply for a job do i do it this way i want to be my own boss but i want to do this i want to do this i want to travel uh, it's sometimes like honestly <laughs> we might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed sometimes it's almost like a little bit like the seven of cups scorpio energy here um do not worry because especially with the angel of love if some of you are a little bit on the fence about taking this person back i would say because you have the knight of pentacles you also have temperance they're all saying take your time explore all your opportunities okay all possibilities as the card says here and it adds to the number six we also have the world the end of a cycle of what of a broken heart that's good i wanted to see that we've got the magician and the mirror manifesting a brand new beginning wow yeah i feel like you don't want your heart broken again you don't want to waste time again you don't want to repeat the cycle again and the world is a really promising card because it shows the end of a cycle which is the end of heartbreak and a brand new cycle and we've got the magician there the manifester of brand new beginnings not man holding the coin beautiful okay um so one thing i just wanted to say here is that um probably a um, bit of a challenge is that your person may be a bit over materialistic here as well but i am seeing here that you are getting definitely from a divine masculine here we are seeing a um an offer here this could be an offer for a new job approving a loan here they're the ones that's holding the coin and they're going to give it to you this is beautiful yeah, we've also got indecision. Indecision on top of pay attention to the red flags. So some of you, yes, you may welcome this person back with open arms. Some of you are thinking, uh, my heart is saying yes, but why is my head saying no? So again, I go back to the Knight of Pentacles and Temperance is take your time. Do not rush this decision right, until you feel confident because they keep showing me that bridge. Yeah, I, isn't that weird? We've got contract. Number six, I just said it that you're going to be signing something that will change your life this year in a really positive way though. You may find your tribe, people that back you up here. Um, even if you want to pitch an idea, you want to you want to get a loan, for example, you want to apply for a job, spruce up your resume, whatever it is, you're gonna, it's going to change your life for the better. Wow. So if you're feeling a little bit lost in your life, that's going to end and it's going to end very soon. More please. 
you got cornucopia that's my empress energy look at that it's literally having it all finances the career the dream job the love the friendship here as well the perfect health you want your dream home this is a card of blessings and it's all for you taurus you deserve it because you've worked your butt off for everything in your life i feel like nothing nothing was ever given to you you just you did it yet yeah, patience and that's what i've been saying your person that's coming back is gonna to have to be very patient with you as well and you also have to be patient with your own heart as well everything that you want is coming again it's on the other side of the bridge it's all going to round up before the end of the year look at that man holding the coin woman holding the coin you know for me when i see this it's like the king and the queen of pentacles it's like the ultimate match here of commitment of stability of marriage here but i'm also seeing it's like the perfect team here for business so yeah we're seeing very strong divine masculine and feminine energies that will help further your career and expand wow i feel like this person's going to come first and there's a bit of a waiting period and then this person arrives as well all tied up i think that's going to be part of the conversation so if you've been feeling also in other areas of your life restricted trapped held back here it's like i don't have enough finances i don't have enough resources that is about to change you're going to get a leg up here and you're going to free yourself beautiful and also the conversation here i think you're going to be holding back a little bit from this um, person that is coming back sometimes it's good just to listen and observe what they're saying we also have the angel of balance beautiful you know balancing the scales so for you it's i, I almost feel this year is about balancing your love life and your career uh, it's like how do we do that it's like you want to give attention to this person but you don't want to also forget about your career as well but no it's okay it's all through patience the answers will come the solutions will come to you and the outcome is happy family look at that that's like ten of cups for me um pisces energy reconciliation happy family here how beautiful is that actually let's pack this one up and let's get some new knowledge cards so they're just going to give you some pretty straightforward um, sentences and also there could be certain star signs coming forward for you all right taurus please 2023 this is looking amazing and you know what this is this is going to end you're not going to feel tied up restricted no way i mean you got cornucopia on top man holding the coin three more they're saying two more last one thank you here we go what do we have what's a big message for you and look at that it's taurus prosperity lies ahead and it's this is directly going to impact you because it's taurus energy wow all the money in the world they keep saying it's all yours but you worked so much for it pat yourself on the back hold your vision don't let anyone screw around with your dreams but you won't anyway no it's wow expect a powerful change and this is to do with your finances maybe dealing with a virgo but it's saying here that you are good enough so if you get offered an opportunity if you find yourself in a room with influential people you are meant to be there because your hard work is paying off capricorn energy luck maybe you know it may be on your side of sagittarius energy but i'm really going to say that you create your own luck taurus main energies don't let your past hold you back let go of it didn't I just say something like that at the start of the video as well? Ooh, a new romantic cycle begins. Libra energy, look how the scales are balanced now. That's why they're coming back. They want to make up for lost time, lost love. A personal issue reaches resolution, cancer energy. Yet yeah. with this person, there will be a resolution. I like that. That's good. We've got to surrender to the divine. We don't have to be in control of everything. And that feels amazing. Take the weight off you know the world off your shoulders now let your spirit team untie you let them do it don't worry about the how be bold and make the first move interesting this could be in terms of do you want to reach out to your person because it seems like you're missing them as well this could also be be you know if you want to go ahead and pitch first you want to go to the bank or you want to apply for that job here stand out from the rest don't worry about the competition because you're going to show the world the real you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. <clears throat> Can't get these cards. There we are. Work through your fears. Scorpio energy. So 
And that's why I think mentally you feel tied up. So in regards to this person, is there anything you're afraid of? Is there anything apprehensive about when it comes to your um, career? Is it that you feel like you're not good enough? Do we have imposter syndrome, for example? No, no, surrender to the divine. They've got your back. You've got your back. What do you need to release? And it's all about balance there. I think it's a time to put yourself first. Maybe we need to release anger, resentment, fear here as well. These cards go hand in hand because the answers you need are coming. You could be talking to a Gemini. Wow. But you got victory. You got the chariot. Let's use the modern oracle deck, please. Well, I just looked at the bottom. We have communication, important news and messages. Ooh, all right. Contracts, commitment, marriage. You're going to be signing something and that's going to change your life, Taurus. For like I, I'm, I keep pointing out, and it's going to change your life in a very good way. Happiness, joy, celebration. Two more times, they said. Jeez, look at that. It's literally raining money for you. Last one, please. If there's something in area in your life that you're not feeling safe, um, that's going to end. Uh, well, I said that and they're saying, it's okay, you are blessed, guided. Have confidence and honor yourself. I don't really feel, Taurus, that you have confidence issues. Um, it's sometimes we want to be in control of everything and we want to know the answers. But uh, they're saying surrender to the divine. We've got your back. We're going to take care of you. All right, they're saying three more. Two more. Last one. All right, Taurus, let's do this. What do we have? Overseas, cruising along, take your time. I was saying that too with the Knight of Pentacles and also Temperance. Take your time when it, in, when it comes to um, this past person coming back. This literally could be the timing. It could be in a couple of months. So it could be one, two or three months. Some of you actually may be traveling here for pleasure. I'm not really feeling it's a lot for work though. I do believe you need a break though. But look at that. Take your time in regards also to love, romance, love improvement yeah when your career comes get busy get moving motivate exercise get i'm seeing getting back into walking getting back into running making the body stronger and look at this your intuition is telling you the right time is now do it now beautiful and you'll reach the finish line and you're going to be so happy that you didn't quit let's do this again spirit team is reminding you that you are blessed guidance have confidence and honor yourself travel moving on taking flight this actually also shows movement so movement moving forward in your love life and in your career so we've got two travel cards here as well look at that money wealth prosperity it's like everything's coming full circle this year for you we've got yes yes you may be receiving an answer in the next couple of days look at that like the timing is literally now Ooh. We've got new beginnings, a fresh start, pregnancy, birth here. Interesting. It could be news of a pregnancy, the birth of a child this year as well, or giving birth once again to this um, love connection and also giving birth to this beautiful um, career change that you want. Like I said, there it is, new business, opportunity to develop, growth and business. I feel like some of you have been working on this for quite a long time, probably more than two years actually. Um, and it's going to pay off. Look at this. You literally, it's like raining money on you. There's communication again. So you'll be receiving really good news. You're going to be receiving an offer. If you've pitched, it's going to be a yes. If you want it alone, it's yes. Whatever it is that you're waiting for that is so important to you, that is so personal, it's going to be yes. Stand your ground, be strong. Although I really do not like this image. Um, I think it's cruel. But I wish they used like a different image, but let's let's stick with it. Stand your ground. Be strong. Be assertive. Don't let anyone this year waste your time. Screw around with your dreams. You're not going to let that happen anyway. Yeah, look at that. We've got new career work changes. We've got you handing in your resume here and everything is saying yes. I'm curious. One more. Look at that. Yeah, be free. Walk away. Release. You may be walking away from um, an, old, an old job. I'm hearing that the environment could be quite toxic where it's all about, you know, it's a dog eat dog world. You know, a lot of, um, how could I say this? Like, 
competition there as well but this is amazing we've got money wealth prosperity having your own business or you're changing careers here going for a new job stick to your ground but you're gonna it's like yes to everything here so I'm gonna say that basically 2023 for the collective watching this is that we're coming full circle we're coming full circle and everything's gonna make sense to you I'm absolutely loving this and I'm really proud of you Taurus you have not given up on yourself you haven't given up on love and on your career prospect and your wishes they are all going to come true. I will see you next week, first week of 2023 with your usual weekly love um, reading, brand new topic, fresh new cards as well. And I hope the new year is everything you want it to be and so much more because you absolutely deserve it, Taurus. Much love to you and I thank you for joining me and happy new year. Bye.